Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius reading for March um, 12th to the 13th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Sagittarius out there. This is not going to be every single Sagittarius story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And I still have some of these... Um, these crystal chakra bracelets available they're linked on uh in the community tab you'll find my etsy link um they are 25 dollars because well i got them imported from brazil i mean they weren't 25 dollars for no reason okay but anyways so sagittarius march 12 to the 13th 2021 you versus them sagittarius Chop wood, Sagittarius. So you could be standing still right now, kind of grounding yourself um, because you're, you're, I feel like you're just kind of gaining appreciation for what you do have at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, time to go. I feel like some of you guys could be moving, wanting to move or even leave a situation. Uh, but I feel like that's more someone is wanting to leave their situation and come towards you. Yeah, the fates, you see? I feel like they're leaving their situation to come towards you. The fates, to me, this is like, you know, soulmate type of... Um, the fates, like, fated to happen, uh, meant to be together. Unfinished symphony. You see, this is not over, Sagittarius. Don, don, don. I'm just saying because the piano right there. <laughs> um, higher power. See, meanwhile, I feel like your person is being worked on by the most high, by a higher power here, the universe, uh, whatever you want to call it. So you could be standing still right now. You see, uh, you could be... You've reached your destination, Sagittarius, so... I feel like, you know, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Meanwhile, I feel like um, the person that you've been kind of going in cycles with right there, you see that cycle? Um, they're going back to their true self, you know. They're learning how to um, go back to who they were originally before life hit them. Um, they're learning how to be vulnerable. They're learning how to open up. They're going towards their emotional side. Yeah. A leg up and they might need your help they might need your help Sagittarius you know maybe they're not really good at showing um, showing feelings you see chaos and conflict you know this could be kind of like a uh, you know maybe you guys fought a lot or, or I, it might, a fight might need to happen like an argument might need to happen yeah between worlds because I feel like this person is leaving the darkness and coming into the light but you know I feel like they have some um, things that they want to say get off their chest from the past even uh, and mending right there you see mending um so you know there might be like one foot in one foot out even so let's, let's take a look sagittarius march 12th the 13th 2021 sagittarius march 12th to the 13th 2021 sagittarius one last shuffle sagittarius march 12th to 13th 2021 King of Swords. Yeah, someone might need to come in and tell you how they feel. It might be some sort of masculine figure who's been stuck in their head. Um, but you see three of cups. You know, and it could have been a third party situation in the past. Or I, but I feel like more this is them thinking you have someone else. You know, um, yeah, nine of cups. But I feel like right now, you know, you're enjoying your independence. Um, you could be working on your independence, on your stability as well. And in this process, you could be changing your mind about helping people. You know, maybe you're a giver. Um, and like I tell people all the time, if you're a giver, takers have no limits. So if you're a giver, you better have boundaries, you know, you could have been very giving to the people around you. You know, maybe you like to give. I mean, that's fine. Just don't do it to the point where it screws you over. Okay. You see two of wands, they're coming to you coming. They've made their choice finally, but I feel like, you know, the most high is working on them. Okay. Yeah. They, they feel some sort of lack mentality, either not feeling good enough um, don't have enough money, don't have enough time, um, not good looking enough, not, you know, not, not in shape enough, you know, whatever it is, they have some sort of lack mindset. Yeah, I feel like it's towards, <laughs> excuse me, money. And um, this is something that they're working on, something that they're focused on. It doesn't have to be just money. Like I said, it could be yeah, anything that made them kind of, um, whatever excuse they were telling themselves to not be with you, um, they're working on that. Okay, you guys could be at a distance, physical, emotional, or just texting every few hours, every other day, you know, every other month. You know, take that how it resonates, guys. 
but yeah, four of swords. You see, I feel like you're working on your independence. You, I feel like, you know, you're kind of prey about this person maybe even sometimes. But yeah, because you still love them, but you have boundaries. You know, you're not going to keep throwing yourself at this person. You know, no one likes to get rejected a whole bunch of times. You see, four of cups. Yeah, I feel like you gave a lot to this person. And, you know, you're not really happy that it's kind of, you haven't seen much from it with the four of cups. You know, you haven't seen it grow to something yet. See, this person's coming. They're coming. They, uh, they might even want a family with you. Uh, see, three of pentacles right there. That's a boyfriend or girlfriend. That's like a partnership, uh, a, a business partnership even. See, this is them putting in the work. So I feel like when it comes towards money, they feel like they don't have enough. See, look, they want to speak their truth to move this forward because they love you. You, yeah, you've just been being patient, okay? Just just continue to wait. I feel like things are blowing up in their life right now. Um, and yeah, you're just working on yourself. You're working on yourself, Sagittarius. So let's see, what is that Six of Pentacles, Sagittarius? March 12th to the 13th, 2021. Yeah, it, this is a new cycle here. You know, you probably gave a lot to this to this person, but I feel like it's it's gonna come, it's gonna come right back. What's the four of swords, Sagittarius? Yeah, I mean, you're just working on your own happiness right now. Looking down. Sagittarius. Look at that. See, someone is changing their mind, and they're going to message you. What's the four of cups? But, I mean, with that page, you know, it could be an email, uh, you know, a message on social media. Um, some sort of message, text message. Yeah, you see, but I feel like you know better um, with the, like, it's not, you might have even blocked this person, some of you guys, um, because it's like you might have kind of figured this person out that, you know, they're not going to put in much effort. So that could be kind of why, um, why you're kind of on the defense about this person. But don't worry, with that seven of pentacles, you reap what you sow. So if you gave this person so much money, I feel like they're having a hard time financially. You know? Um, but again, you see with the Six of Swords, I feel like this is going to move forward, but a fight might even have to happen. Like an argument might have to happen if you dealt with this person in the past. Um, but I feel like this is also this person fighting themselves, you know? Like they want to um, reach out to you, but they're fighting themselves like, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. And it's like, um, why not? <laughs> That's the five of wands. You see, they want, they're fighting themselves on either apologizing or reaching out to you. But this is not over, okay? It's not over. What is the um, five of pentacles, Sagittarius, this person, March 12th? Yeah, just continue to wait on them, okay? The only thing that's holding them back is whatever crappy excuse they're telling themselves about themselves. Like, oh, I'll never be good enough and I don't have enough money and they get all this attention and, you know, whatever it is. You know, you have to kind of just be on standby because that's kind of what they're dealing with right now. Whatever insecurity issue. Mm. See, three of wands. But they're planning and being in a relationship with you. They really are planning it. Um, they're, you know, planning... Hmm, ten of wands. Let's see what the ten of wands is first. I mean, they're planning and being in a relationship with you, but you see... Uh, they can't get over the memories. They just can't. That's something they're having a hard time with. Um, and I feel like you're kind of their motivation as to why they want to work hard, you know. Uh, but right now, I feel like they're a little bit closed off. You know, I feel like they have trouble saying how they feel. But, you know, I feel like they're focused on their money kind of because of you. Yeah, they want a commitment with you. Maybe even a marriage for some of you guys. And they want to come in quickly. But I feel like they feel that they have to have money. Yeah, and this might be something that your intuition is telling you, you know, that, that, you know, this person doesn't make a lot of money and this is something that they care about. You know, it's because you have to understand that some people, you know, they want to spoil their significant other. And if they, and if they can't do that, well then, you know, they beat themselves up about it. Like, oh, well, you know, I'm just a bum. And I mean, that may not be the case, but you know, that, that's kind of how they're taking it. And they, it's just that you're very mysterious, you know? So it's kind of like they want to do all these things for you. 
But with that seven of swords, you know, I feel like there was a lot of secrets in the past and it could be due to addictions, whether it was like um, drug addictions, substance abuse, you know, any type of substance, uh, alcohol, you know, for instance, shopping, money addiction, um, sex addiction, you know, just attention addiction. You know, some people like to get a lot of attention from other people. And I mean, but the love was real. Um, and that's kind of why they want to bring this forward with you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, the Sagittarius, a Leo. Yeah. And I feel like with your intuition, you are bringing this person in. Yeah, but, but right now they're going under judgment. I mean... And with that energy of judgment, you know, God doesn't really judge, to be honest with you. The higher power, he doesn't really judge. But he will put that energy on you so that you judge yourself. So right now this person is judging themselves. And I think they're kind of being a little hard on themselves right now, okay? So, because I feel like they just, they can't not focus on you. Like Eight of Pentacles, what is that? Eight of, what are they focusing on? They're, it's an obsession. It's an obsession. Yeah, you see that, you know, that they want to move this forward. But, you know, they're obsessed with how that this has not been moved forward. Two of Cups right there. You see, they're just focused on you. They're really focused on you, you know. So right now you might be standing still, you know. But meanwhile, I feel like this person is slowly coming to you. And they might need your help with opening up and saying how they feel. And then right here we have Co-Create. So I feel like you guys will end up working together, kind of like a boyfriend and girlfriend as a team, as a partnership, could be a business partnership. But you see, it's a never ending story. This ego battle, this jealousy battle with getting attention from other people. You know, I feel like they put on this fake persona for other people and, and, and that tends to kind of um, end up making them fake to you. You see, and the mask has to come off, okay? There's no need to impress people or to try to impress you. I feel like, see, time to go. This is something they have to walk away from. And with this yin card, just be thankful for what they have. There is no need to, like, I always say, there's no need to, to go broke trying to look rich. Totally. I tell people that all the time. There's no need to try to go broke, no, to go broke trying to look rich. There's no need to go broke trying to look rich at all. At all. Could be a Cancer or a Capricorn that you're dealing with as well. I mean, because if you go broke trying to look rich, well then, so are you in love with money? Or are you, or do you want, I mean, because in the end, you don't take any of that with you. You know what I mean? When, when you end up in the ground in the very end of your lifetime, um, you don't take any of that with you. Yeah, we could bury, bury it all with you, but I mean, you want to, you know, it's, it's just better to have, have lived a happy life full of, you know, with friends and family that actually love you versus living a life full of all these luxury items and you're alone, you know? So let's see, Sagittarius, uh, March 12th to the 13th, 2021. Don't go broke trying to look rich. That's what you, you should tell this person. Don't go broke trying to look rich. You see, new love. So I feel like, you know, even if it's a past person or you're moving on to a new relationship, I feel like a past person, you know, is, is really focused on you. Sagittarius, March 12th to the 13th, 2021. Yeah, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like it's, um, you know, this person might come across different than you're used to, you know, or they might even come back differently. And you need to keep an open mind because, you know, they are, they're just different. And my cards like to follow past, present, and future. And we have here in the future, like literally right after this um, musician card, we have a, it is safe for you to love. So, um, you know, in the future, this person and you, you know, you can trust this. You can trust this in the future, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, engagement. That's also what that three of pentacles is. It's like boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like getting engaged. Not yet married, but, you know, taking each other seriously. The three of pentacles is you, them, and the most high and the higher power. You, them, and God, uh, the universe. Um, Hakim, you know, Abba, whatever you call it, okay? Sagittarius, March 12th to the 13th, 2021. Unrequited love. See, this was a missed opportunity right now because um, there could have been just a lot of fighting, just a lot of, you know, not opening up. This person just wouldn't open up, so the opportunity kind of got missed. And here with romantic feelings, you know, 
this person has feelings for you. It's an obsession and then also a landed um, on the Three of Pentacles. You know, if they were to pursue how they feel for you, this could actually work out. But I feel like, you know, they might have some trust issues here. Um, they have issues about opening up and saying how they feel. But, you know, I feel like that kind of made them lose you. You see, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, trust in the most high. You do deserve love. You are lovable. So don't think that just because of how this person treated you, that you're not capable of having love or that they're not capable of loving you. It just, it was an issue with this person. It had nothing to do with you. That was their own issue here. You see, soulmate. On top of the musician card. So you're bringing in your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate here, okay? Um... You were supposed to have met this person. Whether you want to stay in a relationship with them, whether you are willing to pursue a boyfriend or girlfriend type thing with them, I mean, that's up to you guys, okay? But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. This resonates with you guys. You guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.